So Gemini 3 just dropped, but there's always something new in AI and it's always the best ever. So is this worth caring about? Yeah, kind of. Here are five reasons why I think it's worth getting relatively excited about this. And before you ask, yes, you can use it for free. It's in Gemini, AI mode in Google search results and AI studio. And as you can see, Gemini 3 Pro is at the top of all the AI leaderboards. It's actually smashed its way past Grok, Claude and GPT with scores that we've never seen before. So the first cool feature is these new formats of answer that it can give you if you don't see them yet they're coming shortly and it's what google call generative interfaces where it gives answers in more visual designed formats and there are two modes for this there's visual layout which gives this magazine style view like in this example of plan a three-day trip to rome next summer and it's interactive so you can tweak and edit some of the parameters to see different options in your answer the other option is dynamic view this is more like an interactive website or app that it builds about your answer the second cool thing is this whole multimodal bit that you're going to hear Google banging on about a lot because they're focusing on it big time. What does that mean? Well, like in those previous examples, we asked something in text, we saw something visually, but that was actually built in code. So it's using different modes of communication seamlessly, including audio and video as well, as and when it's useful for the user. And you might have spotted on those leaderboards that I showed you, this is top of the vision leaderboard by far. This is an AI that can see the world, it can understand things very well visually. And this goes further than the whole, take a picture of your fridge, what can I make for dinner type stuff. You can now give Gemini a long video of let's say me playing tennis and it can analyze my game my technique that's pretty cool that is very advanced the third cool thing I'm just playing with this now is called anti-gravity and it's a coding agent app a bit like Claude code or codex but actually more of a direct competitor to cursor which is an AI powered code editor now what I'm liking about it so far is that it's really simple which is great because I'm not really a full-on developer I'm just building little things and also it's really well integrated with Google Chrome so you can easily preview what you're building and tweak it as you go. I love that. The fourth interesting thing that comes with this big Gemini 3 launch is called Agent. It's like the other agent modes that you've seen before where the AI goes off and does stuff for you, but this is specifically working within your Google workspace, your Google apps. So this is smart because that's getting ahead of ChatGPT and Claude who can connect to your Google Drive and your Gmail and do stuff for you, but obviously this agent is native to Google and it's by Google and it's in your Google stuff, so obviously it's going to work better now, I haven't got my hands on this yet, but as soon as I do, I'll show you. And the fifth cool thing is a new deep think mode, which you already know what that means because you've seen thinking in ChatGPT and expert mode in Grok. But again, this is smashing benchmark tests and it is available to some extent in the free version. 